What's going on guys? It's me Flygon, your coach of the Florida Flygons, and welcome back to another week of the TCL Season 11. This week we are going to be facing J-Cube, um, coach of the, uh, of the, of, uh, uh, the Green Bay Pikachus. <laughs> and, uh, your eyes do not deceive you. He has an Iron Bundle, a Deoxys Speed, and a Regieleki. Genuinely insane speed tiers, but uh, today um, it, this is gonna be a little bit more of a of a rougher one because this isn't gonna be as easy as uh, going to Float Soul win game, going to Draco Bish win game, going to Leaves win game. This is gonna be a, a, a little bit tougher. This matchup is a little bit rough for me. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold you, but we do have our win cons, and I'm gonna try and be a little bit more analytical this time around with this one. So. Let's just see what I brought. I want to show you what I brought first of all, because this is how crazy his team was. So first and foremost, just looking at his team, um, Grafai almost just straight up 6-0's me. <laughs> and so that was terrifying, and so I needed to check to it. And insert Choppleberry and Iron Treads here. Intuit KOs with Ice Spinner, even if it's at uh, plus, two def uh, plus one defense, but it depends on the spread. Uh, what matters though is that this thing eats a plus two sword, uh, a plus two low kick from Grafai, even if it's adamant, which is really important because we need damage off on Grafai, so Sneezer can come in afterwards with the electric terrain up um, to outspeed it and to Oko it with uh, Dire Claw and KO with Dire Claw. I mean, uh, Iron Jugulus is really good here, really good damage output, really good coverage. Coco is primarily just here as like a way of dealing with Komo'o because Komo'o is really scary if he decides to bring the Clangorous Soul set. Sneezer is a really good late game sweeper. Tentacruel is specifically here for Iron Bundle and is there to trap Iron Bundle. If we cannot trap Iron Bundle with Tentacruel, it's Jover. It's, it's actually Jover. Like, if he knows what we're going to go for with Tentacruel, knows we're going to Miracle and switches out, that's really bad for us. That makes the game at like 20 times harder because that means for the rest of the game, we have to deal with like either choice specs, choice scarf, some kind of boosting item on that thing, which is really hard for my team to deal with because I don't really have really any good iron bundle counters or really checks. Like Tentacruel is my best check, but other than that, Scarf Coco maybe, but like I'm running, I need to run Electric Surge this week for Electric Seed and Sneasler, so... Yeah, and then we have a really interesting Floatzel set. I decided to run special this time with Burp Break, just in case he does decide to bring screens on uh, Reggie Alecki. But I primarily, ran, I primarily ran special for two reasons. If he bring Terra Flying uh, Grafai, which if he brought Grafai, I thought that's the set he would bring, then um, Ice Beam would kill it. Terra Ice, Ice Beam would kill it. Uh, and Sash would allow me to live any hit, so obviously. And then Ice Beam also did a lot to stuff like Kamo'o, and um, Tapu Bulu and such. So special just seemed better here. Baton pass for momentum. And then again, Brick Break for screens, uh, Reggie Lucky. But before the match, I just felt really not confident with this team, but this was the best I could come up with. And I knew I just had to like play really well and if I really did want to win. So let's just get the battle started. Let's just see what happened and yeah. Will Tentacruel save us? Find out. <laughs> but bad. So the interesting thing is I outsped, but two things. A, I was scouting for Scarf, and B, um, I was scouting for like Scarf or Yachi Berry or anything like that. Or And or if he decided to switch out, I was just like, what would he switch out into? And on like an ice type move, I was thinking like, maybe he'd bring in like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Jagulus just seemed logical here, and so this was like a really nice turn two for me here. He goes to Orlando. Air Slash barely does anything, and I'm just like, what the hell? And I run the calc, and I realize this thing's Assault Vest, and I'm just like, alright, that's interesting. But we do have Hydro, and Hydro's a roll depending on what his spread is. He is a bit more on the defensive side, so he does lift Hydro Pump. But that's really good damage on this guy, and the fact that he's AB means he really isn't that much of a threat. So here comes the bundle. We have our Assault Vest Tentacruel to eat a Freeze Dry and hopefully, you know, hopefully bait in another Freeze Dry to kill it with a Mirror Coat. But instead, he does just go for the flip turn, 
go to momentum makes sense goes in a landorus um jugulus seems like the best here because even if he does go for a stone edge or something i know he's more defensive which means i can eat a hit and retaliate with a ko in return but instead he just goes for a safe knockoff knocking off my item but i'm cool with that because he doesn't really have a dark pulse switch in and so i get the first knockout so that's pretty good uh in comes bundle again i know for a fact he's going for freeze right here so here comes tentacruel and tentacruel is able to eat that pretty well we know for a fact that's choice specs now and i'm just like okay please please give this to me god if we can get rid of this thing right now that would be perfect that would be amazing and so i click mirror coat and he switches out and this i i knew from this point onward this was going to be a very uphill battle because my team does not have a good uh, my team doesn't have a way of dealing with bundle so it's just like okay this is going to be a lot harder now <laughs> that's cool good play on him though because like it was kind of obvious it was kind of obvious but i was just like please fall for the bait please <laughs> uh, i should have probably went for something a little smarter that wasn't contingent on him being brain dead <laughs> but anyways uh this thing is out now i have no idea what it's gonna do i feel like it's gonna set up like rocks maybe it's gonna be like some kind of like hazard stacking set maybe defensive so i have to switch out here i switch into treads because i don't think this thing can do a lot to me he goes for calm mind and immediately i'm just like oh fuck because <laughs> my team doesn't deal with calm mind too well um especially if he's on the bulkier side and I was just like, oh, this is going to be really bad, isn't it? But I at least had a decent damage output with this thing. I did have a decent amount of attack investment, which means Earthquake would have been doing a decent chunk. But this thing was indeed scary. And I knew even if he went for like a fighting move like Focus Blast, I would be able to eat it. And getting Chip off on Deoxys Speed just seemed really valuable. So he does just switch out. Maybe didn't have a way to kill me. And I just go for the Earthquake here, get my Chip. Uh, he, go he goes into Kamo, doing the calcs. I know he's defensive, so I know I'm safe to go into Coco, because even if he EQs, I know he can't kill me, especially with the Shuka. He sets up his rocks, and then I know for a fact he's going to go into Bulu, because that's his only really safe Dazzling Gleam switch in, especially if he's Assault Best, which I kind of predicted him to be. Was he actually Assault Best? We'll find out. <laughs> but you turn here for Momentum, and then I go back into Iron Jugulus because he really doesn't have a good Iron Jugulus switch in. I was really scared of him going into Regieleki on like an Air Slash or something. And so I was just like, okay, I think I can make a pretty good read here. And so in my head, I was just like, he's going Regieleki on Air Slash to get that momentum and then like putting me in a rough position. Because even if I go Treads, he can predict that, go Iron Bundle, and then I have to sack something. So I don't want to put myself in that position. So I decide here to go into Iron Treads. He gets a little bit of recovery from the train. He didn't switch. Not only that, but he went for CC. And I was just like, what? <laughs> this play was really confusing to me. But later on, I found out he was the uh, flying berry, I think he was. And I was just like, ah, that makes sense. But now his defense is dropped. I threatened him out with an iron head. And this just seems like a free, pretty free spin here. Because um, I don't want anything else taking like stealth rock damage so he goes so i go for spin uh remove the stealth rocks he is rocking helmet though which is a bit scary but i do need to keep this thing around for reggie lucky so i just go back into jugulus i wanted to try and over predict here again but i didn't want to like make the same mistake twice so i was just like you know what i'm just gonna click air slash it hits everything but reggie lucky if he goes into lucky it is what it is at least treads can at least t take a hit and if he predicts me I'm good on him you know like just good play so I air slash here, he stays in and I get the KO and I'm just like, nice, that's really good for me. So 6-4 advantage, we're looking good, but this thing comes in and I'm just like, well, I gotta sack something. And everything here is really important, like I need Coco to set up terrain for Sneezer to win late game. Um, Floatzel honestly isn't too important, but at the same time, it's a way of baiting in Tapu Bulu and hitting it really hard with a Terra Ice Ice Beam. It doesn't kill, but it does a lot. So... That was the only really sack I had in mind, but yeah, it, it was really tricky. And eventually it was between Floatzel or Jugulus. And I was just like, all right, I'll, slick, I'll sack Jugulus. I might regret this later, but I really don't have a good switch into this thing. So 
I go into Coco here. He can't kill me with the Specs Freeze Dry. Um, a little bit of a risky play. I do decide to go for the Nature's Madness, predicting the Tapu Bulu to go in here because there's no way he's just going to sack Iron Bundle or make that aggressive of a raid. So I do just go for the Nature's Madness, chip that thing down a lot. It is now in Floatzel Ice Beam range, which is very nice. So I just U-turn here and I go Tentacruel PS1. I have Liquid Ooze, so if he decides to go for uh, Horn Leech, he's going to lose more HP than he gains. And two, I don't really need Tentacruel anymore either. I didn't want to sack it on a bundle because I don't know it just I wanted to keep it around just in case of a situation like this and so I decided to sack it here see what he would do I did speed creep for max speed adamant just in case he was that so if he went for like another move then I'd be able to live it and then threaten something with a sludge bomb but he does just horn leech uh, crit didn't matter and liquid ooze doing what it does best so I go Floatzel here. I am scared of him going into Iron Bundle. So that was a thing, but I was just like, I think I can just like bait this thing in and go for my fucking Ice Beam. So I do that. I Terra Ice, Ice Beam, that thing goes down. Nice. If you're wondering why I didn't go Sneasler here, um, I didn't want to just like freely invite in Deoxys Speed, but in hindsight, maybe I should have just went Sneasler. I don't know. I think either way, Snoozer was, uh, Deoxys Speed was always just going to be coming in next. Um, but I, I might have been able to force a Psy Shock instead of a Calm Mind, which, yeah, now that he's figured out I'm special, he goes Deoxys Speed, I figure out he is Grassy Seed, and he sets up a Calm Mind, and I'm just like, oh fuck, that's really bad. <laughs> so I knew he's going to set up a Calm Mind, and I'm just like, okay, I have two options here. I either go for Ice Beam Freeze, as a as an out because other than that i think i just straight up lose to this or i hope for crit i could have I, I think the alternative options i had were like going coco and just trying to like whittle this thing down with nature's madness um but i didn't just want to switch into like a like a psycho boost because i would have obviously done a lot and i didn't know if he was like calm mind psycho boost an HP on Coco was important to me because I didn't want to be in bundle range. So I go for an Ice Beam here. I do get the freeze and I'm just like, oh shit. On one hand, that's what I was going for. But on the other hand, I feel bad. <laughs> so yeah. And I'm just like, okay, this is this is my way of winning. This is literally, this is the out. God just gave me an out. So I go for Baton Pass here just to see what he does. Uh, he stays frozen. I go into Coco and I'm just like, okay. So I can just Nature's Madness here, chip this thing down. He has to stay frozen. I'm not even thinking of what else this thing could do. I'm just like, okay, maybe he'll stay frozen. Um, on, like on one hand, I hope he thaws because like freeze is such a BS mechanic that I don't want him to lose to it. But on the other hand, this is what I'm fishing for. <laughs> so <laughs> this, is, this is my way of winning, unfortunately. Um, but he does the and he recovers and the instant I see recover I'm just like oh fuck so there's only two things I can really do here I could go for more damage on this but I can't really kill or I try and like go into treads and scout what move he has because at this point I think I lose without trying to make some kind of aggressive play so trying to predict a recover I go for another ma nature's madness here but he reads me and goes for Psy Shock. And now things are looking super Jover. Because only one turn of terrain left, which means Sneasler can't, you know. I'm not going to switch in Sneasler hard on Deoxys Speed. That's just not happening. So, <laughs> uh, this is really bad. And uh, I'm just like, okay, okay, think, think. What's my out? What's my out? And I see my out. I go treads, and if I live a hit, I can rapid spin away the rocks, get chip with earthquake, and then put this thing into maybe sneezer range or hope for like dire claw BS basically. <laughs> so that's my out. So I'm just like, okay, this is my play. I go treads, hoping for a recover or something. And he does do that, which is really nice. Uh, he ice beams here. I live, but. I get frozen and I'm just like, no. <laughs> Later on, I figured out he was Scarf Reggie Lucky 
which might have outsped plus two sneezer here. I, I haven't calc this yet. Let's 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 see. Does this have speeds? I think it does. Oh, it 1000% does. Yeah. I don't think there was any world. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I don't think there was a world where I was winning this game. Um, the instant this happened, it was it was Jover. Like, even if I spun, got the rapid spin off, even if I crit Earthquake, even if I went into Sneasler, like, <sighs> I don't know what I could have done. Because Coco is really low, so it just dies to Reggie Alecki. Like, Reggie Alecki would just clean late game. So, rest of this game, I just lose to Deoxys Speed Calm Mind. A really interesting, really cool, really inventive set that I didn't see coming. And I lost. And this is the first regular season draft league game I've lost in like a year, a year and a half. And so. This, this was two things. This was, first of all, humbling. Because winning that many games in a row is, uh, does, does a little bit to your ego. <laughs> it does. <laughs> and so finally losing, uh, it, it, it kind of like brought me back down to earth. And considering how good his prep was and how much better he played than me, I was just like, okay. I, I <laughs> you know, it's, it's just, I get it. I get it. Like, he was just the better player in this situation. And even though the matchup was a little bit rough, I still think I had outs. I still think I had win cons, but I didn't play them properly. So unfortunate. But another thing this thing is, another thing this is, is motivating because someone fucking beat me, thank God. And so not only do I get to have more fun with the season as a whole, I don't have to focus on having another undefeated season which is really nice. I don't have to stress about that. But I want to have those I want to have this rematch. I want to be able to face him again. I want to be able to adapt and show him that I ain't going to fucking take this stupid dumbass Deoxys speed set lying down. <laughs> it's not dumb. It's really it's it's a, it's a really good set. I'm just uh ah I I I don't know what I could have done against this really good bring. Just an awesome bring. I, I, I really don't know what I could have done against this. So GG's to Jacob, uh, Jcube. I, I don't know how to pronounce your name, I'm so sorry. <laughs> really good match. Uh, unfortunately, our undefeated streak is Jover. It's Jover. But hey, there's more battles in the future. I'm hoping to make playoffs. And yeah, at least we're three and one. <laughs> at least we're three and one. Uh, this is th this battle is gonna be haunting me for the next like week, two weeks, just thinking about what I could have done. <sighs> I don't know. I think I played that end game pretty bad, but fuck, man, this was just this this was rough. This was gonna be rough no matter what. And I I with the team I had, I don't think I could have beaten this Deoxys speed set straight up. I I don't think I could have beaten it. <sighs> tough, tough, but. What can you do, man? What can you do? Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you for the views. Thank you for the likes. I appreciate it. I appreciate you all. Have a wonderful day, night, afternoon. When, no matter what time zone you're living in, just make sure to take care of yourself. And I'll do my best to uh, make up for this devastating not loss next week. But uh, we'll see. I don't know. Maybe this is the beginning of like a really major fall off. <laughs> Or maybe I'm just being really negative. I don't know. We'll see. But thank you for watching and uh, take care of yourself.